did you find, I mean, your, your life, in a sense, must have changed in many ways. One, you were seeing a load of films. Your, your status, in a sense, changed, I guess, in the film industry because you acquired a, a much greater power, didn't you, I think, as a result of this, being the man on telly who reviews films. You were probably the first person that people would often see. Did that responsibility weigh heavily? N no, it didn't, actually. Um, I'm not... I, I, it's very odd the way... Uh, that power, as it were, works. It worked very well if, for a foreign language or an art house film, if I liked that and, and said so, it, it had a huge effect on the, or a big effect anyway, on the box office take. Um, if I saw an Arnold Schwarzenegger film and rubbished it, it had no, made no difference whatsoever, <laughs> you know, because the people who wanted to see Arnold Schwarzenegger obviously weren't watching, you know, they were walking to the cinema with their knuckles brushing the ground. <laughs> they weren't watching my program. I just hope there aren't too many Arnie fans out there, because we're all very upstanding, aren't we? <laughs> OK, yes. Um, but no, it didn't. And so I, yeah, I knew that I had, if not power, I, I knew I had influence, but... I, I, tell you, I, I remember a long time ago, you did an interview with me in which you asked me what I owed the film industry. And I said nothing. And, 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 and you, were, you were very cross. <laughs> and, and, and you had every right, right to be because it, um, that, that, that wasn't a very good answer. What I should have said was that what I owed the film industry was what I owed the audience. And that is total honesty. That whatever I said about a film, it had to be what I truly believed. And it always was. And it always was. And so, therefore, I, I could bear that influence, or as you call it, power, um, and, and because I knew that I could look myself in, in, in the chafing mirror in the morning without being, oh, you know, God, I, I told lies last night. Um, I, I, so, yeah, so it didn't weigh heavily on me at all. I, I, I didn't think it should affect me in any way. That You know, I, I believe from the beginning that what I had to do was to tell people what I thought... Um, about the films, and and I think, and I think people believe me. They didn't necessarily agree with me. Obviously, a lot of people misguided enough to disagree with me, but um, <laughs> but they did believe that what I was saying was what I truly believed. Mm. The we, we mentioned favourite actors and so on. Uh, I, I think among them, uh, uh, you, you mentioned westerns, and, he, and this man has done a lot of them. We're, we're saving our western for last. I won't tell you what it is, uh, but and this is a non-western by. Uh, an actor who, again, you interviewed a few times, and I think you, you rate, have been rated very highly, Clint Eastwood. Oh, yeah, very much. Um, you've interviewed again a few times. Yeah. Um, you liked yeah. him. Although, again, his reputation is kind of mixed, I think, in Hollywood. Nobody quite quite knows where he is politically. It's, it's one of those strange, yeah. rather ambiguous Well, I've, I've, I've done at least seven very long interviews with Clint. I like him very much. He's an excellent guy to talk to before you do the interview and after you do the interview. He's awful to talk to when you. I, every time I walked away from the interview, thinking I got nothing out of him again, and and this is not in any way because he's stupid. He's not. He's a very very bright man. I mean, he's, he's been in total control of his career for many years. Uh, he just doesn't like talking about himself. Um, and the most disappointing interview I ever did with him was when I was doing um, a, a, a series called Talking Pictures on television, looking at the way films are developed since sound was introduced. And one of the subjects was a documentary on the Western. And we fixed up to go and talk to Clint. And I thought, well, I'm going to get loads of stuff. I got nothing. Absolutely nothing. He was awful. But yeah, I, I have huge regard for him. And particularly now as a director, I think he's, I think he's become one of the very best directors in the business. You mentioned Talking Pictures, which was...